Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome to Dwarves. So, uh, this game is a game that I learned about probably like 10 years ago. Uh, when I saw the Yogg's cast do a video on it. <laughs> Aeons ago. Um, and for whatever reason, ever since then, I was just completely, uh drawn in I was like wow I've got to play that and uh, for whatever reason um, I never did until now 10 years later so I'm going to be playing the tutorial oh, welcome to the dwarf's tutorial <laughs> I am awesome dwarf and I will be teaching oh you the ins and outs of cave exploring this is so so 2009 First thing I mean, did they actually get him to record it? Or did they just take the voice clips from the video? Because, of course, he reads this guy's dialogue. Did they have to put nipples on him? Right, here's my little dwarf guy. See the dwarf that's walking around down there? He's a digger. Diggers can dig tunnels through the air. But most importantly, they can mine minerals for you. What minerals, you ask? To zoom in or out? Oot. You can also move. Give it. Hmm. Sorry to disturb you again. What you just got is called a quest. The large text is the name of the quest. When an objective is. When all the. If you don't understand what you're supposed to. Alright. Ah, minerals. That's some mighty fine minerals, you. <clears throat> Without proper instruction, the buggers will just fool about at random. But you can make them go where you want by drawing arrows! To draw one of these arrows, hold down the left mouse button and drag it to where. Usually, these arrows are pretty damn. So, direct the digger to some minerals. Alright. that's interesting it automatically like picks what the quickest path is all right it looks like they've cleaned up the uh, UI a little bit as well which is good ah oh, that's pause Right click to cancel out of shit. There we go, that's what I wanted. So I have eight tricks. Excellent people. work. Now that you know but for Cool. Welcome to your second mission. So yeah, I just, I kind of wanted to do an LP of this because my wife loves dwarves. They're her favorite D&D race. What's this? My beard senses tingling. God. Something is amiss. <laughs> turn it off. To Uh-huh. As I suspected. Look, and we wasted all our... Oh no, I can't look. I've known the lad since he was born a minute ago. <laughs> Dig a dwarf! No! God. Ah, such is the life of a digger dwarf. Brief but glorious. Like it's the lifespan of a soul. Very much a product together. of its time, and I don't mean that to say that it's like horribly racist or something. Anyway, it's just like. Was all fun and games. Being a dwarf <laughs> overseer like yourself comes with great responsibility. This flood of water is threatening me to stop it. You need to build a wall to block it. To build a wall, hold left ship. Place the wall. Me. Good work. Phew. Mm, my How 
did he get there? The lava is... Neat. Good work. Unfortunately, it can burn through walls. In time, that wall you just placed will burn to the... To truly stop lava, this is done by using dynamite. To pick up dynamite, left click on the dot to place it after. It does not blow up without the help. This will... C Did you catch all that? Okay. He dies, no. Man, now I'm just gonna have to wait for this to burn through, huh? Well, that's good, it only goes while you hold it down. You did it! By my beard, you are one f now is the time. So why am I doing this and not dwarf fortress? Hello again. Well, did you see they are Right. Oh, I know it. Let me tell you. You see, even if you manage to stop water or lava from... Look, you can use Solidify. For Solidify. While clicking the... Rook is undiggable. See if you... As you might see, the pr Unfortunately, I repeat. Interesting. Great work! As you can see, it's expensive. And that means there is no better preparation than some good dwarven ale. Bombs up, lads. Oh boy. I, I'm a dwarf and a being. Yeah. All right. All right. Hey. Oh, good. Cause today you're gonna come on this map below. You can. My beard sense tells me one of them might be dangerous, but you have to check them both before trapping them. Trapping an undiscovered cave is forbidden by dwarven laws. Show one of these caves. All right. I feel like he's just gonna... So, the, do they just dig randomly? Interesting. So, one of the reasons that I'm doing this instead of Dwarf Fortress is because this is a lot more simple than Dwarf Fortress. Because, like, I have, in fact, tried to play Dwarf Fortress in the past. And, like, man, it's not that it isn't fun. It's that it's so difficult to understand anything. Like, dude... Oops. Like, it is just really difficult for me to understand what I am meant to be doing. And I know that some people love that. But, like, for me, it's very bad for whatever is going on in my brain to try to remember a whole keyboard of instructions. It's why a lot of standard roguelikes uh, befuddle me as well. And look at him go. This is cool. It's like an ant hill, you know? Those. 
But yeah, um, when Dwarf Fortress comes out on Steam, it'll presumably be a lot easier to play and stuff. But until then, like, I am, I'm so at a loss for it. And, like, there are some games like RimWorld where, like, they still totally I have the vibe. Did this tomorrow. You I need All right, cool. Ah, there you are. I'm glad you're here. Some goblins, some... Look at them artless bastards. Juicy lumps of gold. <coughs> We must save our dwarven brothers from these vile creatures to facilitate vile. warriors easily distinguishable by my blue health meter, the Lorem. Much the Lorem. better fighters than the poor diggers you saw down there. They also move around in a slightly different way. If you draw an arrow, then we... why don't you draw an arrow? Warriors will sense and pursue and. There's a path. Oh, they're just getting hunted down like animals. Timely Zero Wing reference. Move by what tutorial witchcraft did he appear? He wasn't there a moment to go. These walls won't hold him for long. You can open up the town menu by left clicking on the town hall. Let's start with to call warriors back to town. Okay, okay. We require beer. So I was hoping to be able to flank him, but he dug too quickly. Wait, so sure, who's got the biggest beard? You really have now to have the nipples, man. The You're going to need those skills later. Final. Okay. Ah, the light. My arch nemesis. It's a Balrog. Here's the red spinning circle to the left. You can destroy those circles. In other words, you have to hitting a boss or enemy of a Ah, with flanking. Really gotta dig there. I mean, I guess it's a corridor. Hmm. 
There you go. Flank him, lads. But yeah, games where you just chill out and dig. I kind of love those, you know? Well done, kid. What the? Somehow he's closed himself. Cannons are attached to outposts. And can build an outpost, train four warrior dwarfs from it, and then click the training dummy icon. This will begin leveling up you. When this is done, enter the outpost menu. If one of your warriors are defeated, just train. Okay. Build an outpost. this happening like I think it is? God, shoots them in a shotgun blast. <laughs> That's rather silly, I think. To train those warriors if you'd use the outpost train. Damn. Ah, the life of oh, the Oh, God. Alright, it says I leveled them. Ha ha! You did well, kid, to learn more about how to move. Alright, cool. Welcome to the last. Oh, good, the last part of the, the tutorial. tutorial. Let's take a look. This is how a regular level in the arcade mode will look like. If some of these caves are dangerous, to let's see you comb your own beard. Now, the job of an overseer, that's you, is not to con... Of course. Now I'll just sit back. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dog, are you for real? pre-solidify thing. That's kind of a good investment. Ooh, treasure. Yeah, look at that good stuff. So is it like impossible to dig through dirt or is it just really hard? It's a big ass cave to be honest with you. Nothing. 
So there's a little. Thank you. What is this thing? It looks like a trash can. I think it is a trash can. full of treasure. Cool. It reminds me of Battle for Wesnoth. It has the same kind of like very 2000s like GeoCities charm almost, you know? Okay. You dig that. Uh-oh. Uh Get him, please. I guess we're done then. With that one at least. Is this mithril? Or is it just silver? Well, that says score, not silver. Okay, cool. Well, I don't know what that is then. Like, this, this is what I love. It's like. It is just a big ol' anthill, you know? But it's got some fantasy vibes, and that's great, too. that count? It says I've yet to trap this water cave. But I do not know why. Hey, how about you dig that, huh? It's probably a lava cave based on the process of elimination. Okay. 
Haven't quit the Goblin War. Oh, man. Oh, this guy's so toast. walk, man. Why does everything always got to be digging? of no return and free candy. Can I ask you to dig that way? Just to see what it is. It's just a weird thing on the map. Okay, cool. It's fine by me. Oh, it shows you their level. That's cool. And useful. Can you get over there? I'll presume to there to be a lot of things. I love the little spider picture for when it zoomed out. I had an awful, awful nightmare about a tick that ate spiders. And it made their, like, webs, web shooters, the spinnerets, like, a part of its jaw for a little bit. And then it would spin a web and then eat things. So gross. Luckily, it doesn't exist as far as I know, but that's only as far as I know. Who knows how far I know? What are you doing, bro? Now in case two uh, water caves. 
Is this not what you wanted from me? Please, video game. Can you help this dwarf out? Another little plant there. You start digging this way. This is probably the lava cave. Yep, there it is. trapped a water cave now. Stop it by building walls and trap the cave. Does it want me to... I guess it wants me to put a little piece of dynamite down. Maybe. <laughs> you did it! You really did it! I guess so. I'm mighty proud of you, I mean, overseer. You this is the end of it, but there are still things... Good luck! All right. Uh, so campaign, or actually, I've been playing for thirty minutes. This would be a good time to stop. Uh, I've been Alfred. This is dwarves. Uh, or I guess like dwarves? Question mark exclamation point. See, there's a little entero bang here. Um. So yeah, uh, this game is not very expensive on Steam if you would like to play it yourself. Uh, and it's also pretty good. So. Uh, I'll recommend it, I guess. It's fun. It's silly. Uh, it's very, very 2009-y, you know? It's that vibe. But it's not bad by any means. So yeah, uh, I've been Alfred. This has been Dwarves. Uh, and everyone have a good day. Thank you for coming. See ya.